Welcome back. Last time we had managed to obtain tungsten, however, we can't work it because we only have it in dust form and working it requires temperatures we can't manage. However, there is something we can use the dust for which is even more useful than tungsten, tungsten steel. After quickly obtaining it, the first thing we are going to make with it is a better power generation setup that uses oil. Now that we have done all the main quests in the electrical age, we can move to the petrol chim age and quickly complete all of the main quests in this page. Now it is time to check the semiconductor age quests. We quickly procure ourselves with the new tier machinery and remember to use the auto shutdown cover and stop the auto input output. Then we make a photon alignment mask and bring it to our new mask liner. And now that we are starting to work with the unofficial part of Greg Tech 6 unofficial, we have one issue that I haven't figured out how to fix yet. If I put an automatic switch cover, the mask liner will stop working, however, the laser will still waste energy. So we have to use a redstone cover on the laser and manually toggle it when we need to use the mask liner. I do not know why it is like that because the cracking tower can toggle its attached heater automatically. Anyways, let's turn it on and let's start aligning some masks. And this is going to take an awful lot of time and energy. And after some time, we have finally become silicon architects. We shall use our newly acquired masks to make some 30 micron wafers. Which we shall place into our HV circuit assembler. And something is off. Our HV laser pointer can't make enough LU. We shall try boosting it with a cover. But that doesn't seem to help. The recipe we need requires only 240. LU. Our circuit assembler can work up to 1000 LU. So, we could use a down power DV laser for it. However, that would require tier 4 circuits, which is what we are trying to make right now. We must find another way. Moving closer to the transformer or the battery buffer didn't help and a crystal charger is out of question. However, laser fiber doesn't state about making straight lines or crossing. So, we quickly craft some and try it to merge the power of two HV lasers. And that seems to be a working solution. Now, we just make some more silicon wafers. And thus we have unlocked tier 4 circuits. Next we make some multi-layer epoxy plates. And some 20 micron wafers. Thus obtaining a tier 5 circuit. And now that we have a tier 6 circuit, we can start to work on more realistic circuit parts. Let's have a small crafting sequence.
now that we have memory cells. 2x128 megabytes RAM modules. Motherboards. Integrated circuits. And dual core 256 megahertz CPUs. We can go seek the help of some expert on how to assemble all of these parts together. Once we find a proper helper, we give him all of the parts and let him do his job in peace. And, of course, he will drop stuff on ground. Anyways, if it did not broke, we finally have some serve main frames. Next, we could do the sockets for the high tier Greg Tech processors, however, it appears that they are gated by graphene. Then next option is making the second tier of mainframe. But we are again blocked by graphene. So, let's see how do we make graphene. It is made inside a nanoscale fabricator, and crafting it requires some xenon. And the only way we have for obtaining it seems to be by distilling ender air. So, I think it is time for us to change back to our old fashionable clothes, turn back on the weird nasty creatures and go touch some unrealistic monster fights. We also do need a weapon. We do have this cool sword, but it looks like an axe would deal more damage. And now that we are fully equipped, I think it is a good time for closing this episode before having a change of gameplay. Bye bye.